I stared at Victoria Morgan, my boss, in utter disbelief. Her eyes gleamed with a mixture of excitement and mischief as she presented her proposition. The words echoed in my mind, refusing to make sense. John, I have an unconventional assignment for you, Victoria began, her voice low and mysterious. I want you to cross-dress as a woman for our upcoming architectural project. My jaw dropped, and I struggled to find my voice. Cross-dress? Are you serious? Victoria nodded, her gaze unyielding. Absolutely. This project requires a unique perspective, a fresh approach. I believe you have the talent and the potential to pull it off. A rush of conflicting emotions coursed through me. Confusion mingled with intrigue, and a spark of curiosity ignited deep within. The idea of immersing myself in this forbidden world felt simultaneously exhilarating and terrifying. Why me? I finally managed to ask, my voice betraying a mix of uncertainty and intrigue. Victoria smiled, her lips curling into a knowing expression. Because, John, I've noticed something in you. A certain restlessness, a craving for something more. I believe this experience could awaken a hidden side of you, one that could greatly enhance your creativity and perspective as an architect. Her words struck a chord within me. Victoria had seen beyond my facade, recognized the burning desire for self-expression that had simmered beneath the surface for years. This proposal, as unexpected as it was, held the promise of unlocking a part of me I had long suppressed. After a moment of contemplation, I mustered the courage to respond. All right, Victoria, I'll do it. I accept your proposition. A mixture of excitement and trepidation swirled within me as I embarked on this uncharted territory. Little did I know that this decision would plunge me into a world of obsession, self-discovery, and unforeseen consequences. The journey ahead would challenge my perceptions, test my limits, and force me to confront the very essence of who I was. With a newfound determination, I set out to embrace the allure of cross-dressing, ready to unravel the mysteries that lay ahead. As I delved deeper into the world of cross-dressing, my fascination grew, and each transformation became a tantalizing journey of self-discovery. With Victoria as my guide, we embarked on a quest to unlock the secrets of femininity, exploring every facet of the transformation process. Our journey began with the delicate art of makeup, Victoria taught me how to accentuate my features, skillfully applying foundation to create a flawless canvas. With precise brush strokes, she enhanced my eyes, bringing out their depth and allure. The soft sweep of mascara on my lashes lent an air of femininity, while carefully chosen shades of lipstick completed the transformation, painting my lips in hues of confidence and allure. Next came the selection of garments, where Victoria's keen eye for fashion proved invaluable. She helped me explore an array of styles, fabrics, and colors, guiding me toward choices that celebrated my newfound femininity. The rustle of silk against my skin and the gentle caress of lace awakened sensations I had never experienced before. With Victoria's patient guidance, I learned the art of slipping into elegant dresses that draped gracefully around my figure, emphasizing curves I had never possessed. The smooth glide of stockings against my legs, held in place by delicate garters, added a touch of sensuality to the ensemble. And as I delicately fastened the clasps of a lustrous necklace around my neck, I couldn't help but marvel at the transformation taking place. To complete the vision of femininity, Victoria introduced me to the world of heels. I gingerly slipped my feet into a pair of stilettos, feeling the elevation transform my posture and confidence. The clicking of the heels against the floor became the rhythm of my newfound femininity, guiding each step with a grace and elegance I had only dreamed of. As I stood before the mirror, a beautiful woman stared back at me, an amalgamation of carefully chosen garments, artful makeup, and an unyielding desire to explore my femininity. In that moment, I felt a surge of empowerment, as if I had tapped into an aspect of myself that had long remained dormant. Yet, beneath the surface of this stunning facade, doubts lingered. 
I questioned the boundaries between fantasy and reality, wondering if this journey was an escape from the pressures of my everyday life or a genuine expression of my authentic self. Caught between the allure of this transformative process and the uncertainty of its implications, I stood at a crossroads. I knew that the choices I made would shape not only my appearance, but also my identity and the course of my life. The allure of cross-dressing had taken hold of me, intoxicating my senses with the promise of liberation and self-expression. With each transformation, I ventured further into the enchanting realm of femininity, driven by an insatiable desire to explore the boundless possibilities that lay before me. Under Victoria's careful guidance, I immersed myself in the art of assembling the perfect ensemble. We spent countless hours perusing boutiques, carefully selecting garments that would accentuate my feminine form and evoke the desired aesthetic. From elegant cocktail dresses that hugged my curves in all the right places to flowing gowns that swept the floor with an ethereal grace— each piece was meticulously chosen to create a captivating and confident persona. The ritual of dressing became an intimate dance with my own reflection. I relished in the soft glide of silk against my skin as I slipped into luxurious lingerie. The delicate lace whispered secrets of femininity, imbuing me with a sense of sensuality and grace. With each garment, I shed the trappings of masculinity and embraced the essence of womanhood. Victoria's expertise extended beyond clothing. She taught me the art of accessorizing. We explored an array of jewelry, selecting pieces that complemented and enhanced my ensembles. Earrings dangled from my ears, sparkling in the light, while bracelets adorned my wrists, bestowing an air of elegance. Each accessory served as a testament to the attention to detail that accompanied my transformation, bringing the vision of femininity to life. Makeup remained an essential component of my metamorphosis. I learned to expertly apply foundation, concealing any imperfections and creating a flawless complexion. With a deft hand, I swept eyeshadow across my lids, blending shades to create depth and allure. Mascara delicately enhanced my lashes, framing my eyes with a mesmerizing gaze. And the final touch, a perfectly chosen lipstick shade, painted my lips with a boldness that commanded attention. The transformative process extended beyond aesthetics. It awakened a newfound confidence within me. With each garment I donned, each brush stroke of makeup, I shed the constraints of societal expectations and embraced a freedom I had long yearned for. As I stood before the mirror, the reflection that stared back at me exuded a radiance that transcended gender boundaries, a manifestation of the beautiful woman I had become. Yet, amidst the allure and empowerment, a sense of uncertainty lingered. I grappled with questions that gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. Was this exploration of femininity merely an escape from the pressures of my everyday life? Or was it an authentic expression of my true self, a facet of my identity that had remained dormant for far too long. With each passing transformation, the allure of the ensemble grew stronger, beckoning me to push the boundaries of my own perception and embrace the beauty that lay within. I knew that my journey had only just begun and that the path ahead would be filled with challenges and revelations. The allure of cross-dressing had become an inseparable part of my existence, and I was determined to unravel its mysteries, no matter the cost. As my journey into the world of cross-dressing continued, the time had come to confront one of my biggest fears, revealing my new feminine persona to my co-workers. The weight of anticipation and uncertainty pressed upon me as I stood on the precipice of this pivotal moment. With my heart pounding in my chest, I walked into the office, donning an elegant ensemble that accentuated my feminine features. The whispers and glances that followed me only added to the apprehension coursing through my veins. I could feel the weight of their judgment and wondered how they would react to this unexpected transformation. Taking a deep breath, I made my way to my desk, surrounded by curious gazes and hushed conversations. It was as if time had frozen, and I stood in the center of a spotlight, vulnerable yet resolute in my decision. One by one, my co-workers approached me, their eyes widening in astonishment. 
Their initial surprise soon melted away, replaced by genuine awe and admiration. The air buzzed with compliments and exclamations of how beautiful I looked. Their words were like balm to my soul, soothing the fears that had plagued me. Colleagues who had once seemed distant and indifferent now gathered around me, showering me with praise and admiration. They marveled at the attention to detail in my ensemble, from the subtle elegance of my makeup to the graceful way I moved in high heels. It was as if I had unlocked a hidden wellspring of beauty and confidence that radiated from within me. Their words of encouragement and support carried me on a wave of euphoria. The once insurmountable wall of secrecy and fear crumbled before my eyes, replaced by a newfound sense of belonging and acceptance. In that moment, I realized that my transformation had touched not only my own life, but had also ignited a spark of inspiration in those around me. As the day unfolded, co-workers approached me, sharing their stories, their dreams, and their own hidden desires for self-expression. I became a beacon of hope, a symbol that breaking free from societal constraints and embracing one's true self was not only possible, but also worthy of celebration. Yet amidst the jubilation, a shadow of doubt remained. Did their admiration stem from genuine acceptance, or was it merely a fleeting fascination? Would they truly embrace me beyond the surface-level appreciation of my appearance? The path forward was uncertain, and I knew that challenges lay ahead. But in that moment, surrounded by the support and admiration of my co-workers, I allowed myself to bask in the warmth of their acceptance. It was a stepping stone, a testament to the power of authenticity and the beauty that lay within each of us. The echoes of admiration and acceptance lingered in my mind as I navigated the days that followed my revelation at the office. The newfound sense of camaraderie and support from my co-workers was a source of both joy and trepidation. The lingering question of whether their acceptance was superficial or genuine gnawed at me, casting shadows of doubt upon my newfound confidence. As I engaged in daily interactions, I couldn't help but analyze every word, every glance, searching for signs of insincerity. Were their compliments merely a facade, concealing whispered judgments? Or were they truly embracing the person I had become? Among the sea of positivity, there were occasional moments of uncertainty, a hushed conversation abruptly ceasing as I approached, a fleeting hesitation in a co-worker's eyes before they resumed their normal demeanor. These fleeting instances planted seeds of doubt within me, fueling the lingering fear that I was merely an object of fascination rather than a respected individual. In the midst of this internal struggle, I sought solace in the unyielding support of Victoria. She reminded me of the transformative power of self-expression, urging me not to allow the shadows of doubt to dim the light of my newfound identity. Her unwavering belief in my journey bolstered my resolve, reminding me of the strength I possessed within. Outside the realm of the office, I continued to explore my femininity, discovering new facets of my identity with each passing day. The transformation had become an integral part of my life, an expression of my personal aspirations and desires. Yet the lingering doubts from the workplace seeped into other aspects of my existence, leaving me questioning whether the world was truly ready to embrace someone like me. With each passing interaction, I grappled with the balance between authenticity and the expectations of societal norms. The shadows of doubt cast a veil over my confidence, reminding me of the limitations and prejudices that still existed within the world. But amidst the uncertainty, a glimmer of hope persisted. The genuine connections I had formed with a select few co-workers reassured me that true acceptance was possible. Their unwavering support became a beacon of light, guiding me through the darkness of doubt and reminding me that I was not alone on this journey. As I faced the challenges that lay ahead, I vowed to confront the shadows of doubt head-on, refusing to let them overshadow the beauty and authenticity that resided within me. With every step forward, I would continue to unveil the true essence of my being, embracing the strength and resilience that had brought me this far. 
Within the depths of my soul, a longing for self-discovery and acceptance continued to blossom, entwined with the passion for cross-dressing that had ignited my spirit. It was in the moments spent alone, standing before the mirror, that I confronted my deepest desires and unraveled the layers of my identity. In the privacy of my own sanctuary, I meticulously prepared for each transformation, relishing in the meticulous attention to detail that brought my feminine alter ego to life. With practiced grace, I fastened delicate clasps, adjusted the straps of lingerie, and slipped into the enchanting embrace of elegant dresses that draped luxuriously around my figure. As I stared at my reflection, a woman stared back, a vision of beauty and authenticity that filled me with both pride and a sense of vulnerability. I marveled at the artful application of makeup that brought forth my features, enhancing them with a subtle touch. The shimmering eyeshadow highlighted the depth of my eyes, while carefully chosen shades of lipstick adorned my lips with a captivating allure. With each transformation, I witnessed the convergence of my physical appearance and the inner essence that had lain dormant for so long. The click of heels against the floor echoed the rhythm of my newfound femininity, empowering me with every step I took. The gentle rustle of silk against my skin whispered promises of freedom and self-expression. Yet, as I gazed upon my reflection, doubts lingered in the depths of my eyes. Was I merely engaging in a fantasy, using cross-dressing as a temporary escape from the pressures of reality? Or had I unearthed an integral part of my true self that deserved to be celebrated? The mirror became both a confidant and a silent interrogator, reflecting not only the external beauty, but also the profound journey of self-discovery that lay within. It challenged me to confront the complexities of my desires, urging me to seek the delicate balance between the person I had once been and the woman I was becoming. In those solitary moments, I learned to embrace the vulnerability that arose from confronting my truest self. I discovered the power of self-acceptance, untethered from the opinions and expectations of others. The mirror became a portal to a world where my reflection celebrated the harmony between my inner desires and the external expressions of femininity. As I continued to navigate the intricacies of my dual existence, I recognized that the journey toward self-discovery was not linear. It was a process of unraveling, of exploring the depths of my being and embracing every facet that made me who I was. And with each reflection, I grew more certain that the path I had chosen was one of personal aspirations and unyielding authenticity. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.